And this is in a lot of different lives this question comes up. People ask me to answer this. Let me go ahead. A does not equal A. A does not equal A. There is no way this first A can be the same as this second A. No matter how close I drew them, they were going to be different because nothing in the universe is exactly like anything else. Dialectical materialism is the philosophical basis of Karl Marx's beliefs. All right? Karl Marx began in philosophy, and then he moved into economics. And Karl Marx believed that all that exists is matter, but that matter is constantly in a state of motion. And that history is driven forward by contradiction. Right? So... Marx was a follower of Hegel, right? The philosopher Hegel, the German philosopher, who had this belief that history is driven forward through conflict, through contradictions. When there are things, and he was talking mainly about ideas, when there are ideas that cannot, that cannot coexist with each other, they clash, they, they contradict each other. If you think one thing and I think something else, that's a contradiction. And that the first idea is called a thesis. The second idea is called an antithesis, and they contradict each other. They clash. When they clash, the result is called a synthesis, and the synthesis then becomes a new thesis, and then an antithesis emerge, and they clash, and you get a new synthesis, and then the synthesis becomes a thesis, and that's how history is driven forward, and that history is advancing, and the way it advances is through contradiction, All right? That is... The dialectic, that's a Hegelian concept. Hegel thought that history was advancing, that G the German nation state was the, the most advanced thing to come into existence. Christianity was the most advanced religion. Europe was the most advanced part of the world, but that the world was constantly in motion. That is the Hegelian dialectic, and that's the basis of he Hegel's thought. And there were right Hegelians and left Hegelians. Karl Marx was a left Hegelian. But Karl Marx was also a follower of the Greek materialists, Right? In Greece, in ancient Greece, there was a big debate. And the debate went on like this. Does the mind create reality or does reality create the mind? Right? The idealists believed that the mind creates reality. Right? That our consciousness, our thoughts create the world. That's the belief of idealists. Right? The most most prevalent form of idealism is religion, right? That, that, that we exist as a reflection of God, right? That God said, let there be light, that, that human beings came into existence as the reflection of God's thoughts or wishes, right? That's, that's idealism. Or, furthermore, right, there is, you know, the belief that, you know, and this is very widespread, that, that you know, there's like the secret, right? Uh, you know, people that believe if I just picture money and go money, 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 money will appear, right? That, you know, they, they call it... Um, the idea that thinking makes it so. You can do anything you want if you just try hard enough. That thinking, if you think it, it will happen. You can create things. Things will happen because you think them hard enough. That's idealism. Um, I believe uh, Descartes, the philosopher, very famously said, I think, therefore I am. That's idealism. And Karl Marx was from the opposite school. He said, I am, therefore I think. Frederick Engels explaining Marx's beliefs, said, said that thought is inseparable from matter that thinks, right? And that, that rather than reality being a reflection of the mind, the mind is simply a reflection of reality, right? What we think is based on the world around us. Our ability to think is because we have this thing called a brain that thinks, right? And that, that all that exists is matter, right? That's materialism. Is the world made up of matter or is the world a reflection of spiritual and ideal forces? That's, that's the debate. So those are two big debates in philosophy, dialectics and materialism.
materialism versus idealism, dialectics, whatever, right? That's the debate, right? Historical progress, change through conflict, and what is the nature of reality? And Karl Marx combines the two of them into one philosophy called dialectical materialism, which is the belief, on the one hand, he's following that materialism, right? That all that exists is matter in motion, and that thoughts and ideas are a reflection of matter, so materialism. But that matter is constantly moving and constantly in a state of motion, and that, that conflict drives forward history, dialectics. So it's dialectical materialism, right? Heraclitus was one of the biggest influences on Hegel, developing his concept of the dialectic. He said, you never step into the same river twice. I've quoted that many times before. You never step into the same river twice, right? This is, this is dialectical materialism. That's the philosophical basis of Marxism. And for the most part, I agree with it. However, I would disagree. I do, I do believe in God. I do believe that there, there are spiritual aspects to reality. I do believe human beings are not purely motivated by economic determinism, and that spiritual forces do exist. I'm not a solid materialist, but the dialectic is very true. Uh, and, you know, that's where I'm at. And so I was asked to answer that question. I just gave you an answer to that question. 